Hello YouTube, I am back once again with Seven Days to Die the Long Haul. And well, I've come to find that my mini bike is actually buried. Uh, let's buried underground here. This is kind of awkward. Well, <laughs> I was not expecting to do this. I was wanting to just check to see what I got. <laughs> well then, I'll be darned. I have not. That's a new one for me on on seven days. <laughs> Especially this. I have never seen this before. <laughs> that is a that is a weird little situation. Um, while I'm digging this out, <laughs> I was going to I was coming out here to try and get some uh, get the uh, like I say getting some stuff out of the mini bike basket, and <laughs> you can see how that turned out. First time for everything, I guess. Like, that is something I've never encountered. Did have a couple zombies come overnight. Look a little bit hungry. Oh, let's get eaten a little bit. Oh. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so, yeah, this uh, this episode started off with a, you know, with a bang. <laughs> I don't know how to describe that. <laughs> I, you know what, I'm just not even gonna question it. Let's actually see what I got in this mini bike. Okay, not too much. But, um, goal for today is actually to get enough dukes to try and have a... Try and have a... Have a, um... Oh! Uh, <laughs> El Drago is already here, uh... He's he's already shown up. Uh which reminds me though, YouTube, uh, if you if you wanna watch the series live, be sure you drive it on Twitch, you know. I always link my channel in the description. Stream uh four PM uh Central Standard Time in North America. Uh usually Mondays and Wednesdays and Fridays, uh but you know, be sure you join. You know, be like El Drago. He's, you know, you can join in on the fun. And, you know, chat with me, and you know, you can experience this all live. You also get to experience this early because, um, I'm thinking to my, trying to think, the last uh, bunch of eps I have episodes of this. Uh, oh, hey, would you look at that? Another pistol. Um, I have, I have videos backlogged all the way to uh, through the through the end of the month, but. Yeah, you know, be like El Drago. Come over and join. You know, have a fun time. But with all that being said, like I was saying earlier, I want to get a set of military boots. So I'm gonna make my way over to the trader, and if I'm there early, I'll just wait for him. But I will see you folks on YouTube in a little bit. Well, YouTube, uh, I'm already at the trader. He's just about to in you know, open up for the moment, Trader Jimmy. And, uh... <laughs> Let's see what we can sell to him. Uh, okay. I want to buy some military boots from him, and... We gotta... How about I empty your pockets? How about you don't completely empty my pockets? So good, sir. Where are they? The military boots we need seven and a half thousand dollars for. Um, let's see what we can sell to you, good sir. Four hundred sixty bucks. We're up to eight hundred. We're yeah, we're you know, we're starting to look okay on uh Dukes here for the time being. Um. We'll even sell those off for him. We're just... I'm hoping I can just get this uh, with one little trade trip here. So... Uh, let's sell all the leather off. We, we can. We are a couple hundred bucks short. Well... We can just sell off the electrical parts. 
Well, we did sell off the electrical parts. We'll do glue, and then we'll just... We're really scraping the bottom of the barrel here, folks. We can't even sell off, uh, sell that stuff off, but there we go. We have enough. And there's a, there's a set of, a set of military boots. Ah. So, little mission accomplished. I'm happy to have that. I can finally just scrap those old iron boots and, and I finally have some better protection in the game. Like, uh. Give me a second here while I take out Annie. Darn swings out of the club. And... So yeah, I obviously need to work on my... my gloves and chest armor and... all this, and you know, probably make a better mining helmet. You know, I could use some uh, repairs, but... we're looking alright. So... I'm going to actually go back to town. We're going to do a little bit more looting for the day. So I will meet those of you folks watching the video back when I'm at town. Well, folks, we're already back in town. Nice and quick little trader trip. Uh, not not too hard, so... And so, um... Um, Drago is uh, telling me about a challenge I should do sometime uh, called City Slicker. I'm not exactly sure what the challenge is. It's like I'm sure I'll put I'll put it up in editing. You know, like you know, just give like you know, throw a couple lines of text just to show what the challenge actually means. Keep my I'm streaming this live and so um trying to decide on what we want on the loot. I could do some, I could do some, uh, poppin' pills reading, but really, like, getting, like, med kits and all that. Could hit up these couple little, uh, you know what? We got a bunker here. And, and a brewery theater next door, so we got, well, wait, we got a whole bunch of good bunkers here. We got the well bunker, we got the the shack with the bunker in it, we got Bro Theater, that is a lot of saves. <laughs> Didn't realize just how much of a hot spot this area, this location is, so. Uh, I gotta deal with some zombies here really quickly. And I'm gonna break into the, into the well, and I'll let you know once that's done, YouTube. Ow. Well, YouTube, I've already broken into this, uh, uh, bunker it is so easy with seal tools. Oh hey, another hunting rifle with some extra rounds of ammunition for the sniper rifle. Not bad at all. It's like uh, even I will say this. It's like even though I'm not gonna really use the hunting rifle too much anymore. Like when unless I will say this unless I unless I die, I will actually you know, like. If I die uh, again, like, which that's probably an inevitability at this point, you know, I probably just cursed it, but he, uh, you know, it's just one of those, then I'll probably keep the, maybe I should keep some rounds in the, oh, hey, sniper receiver. What I was going to say is, uh, you know, keep some rounds handy for the old, uh, hunting rifle and a chest, you know, just as kind of a... Emergency uh, backup. Got a couple of extra receivers. Hey, AK-47 barrel. Oh, that is uh, that is really that is excellent to see. If if you've been watching this series for a bit, it's like yeah, you know, it's like you know that I only have an AK-47 receiver. So let's go, AK-47 barrel. That is so. That is a relief to see that thing gonna pop up in my inventory. I am excited for that. It's like they. Oh wow! Even better SMG parts. Oh, oh, man! Once I get back home, and uh, I don't know. We might do it today. Like, I like trying to do this in bursts, but. 
Um, what I was saying is like, you know, SMG, like I'll combine that with my, uh, my port parts just for free repairs, but man, we might be getting, or we'll be getting a, uh, a nice upgrade on the old SMG. Uh, checking the bedroom out for lockers. Nah. 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 That is just exciting to see, though. I am... I am glad that's uh, there. Uh, we'll just put this uh, barrel in. Always assemble the guns, guys. You yeah, always assemble them. There we go. I know I'm having a little bit of inventory issues. Um... Well, great. We'll just scrap that. The classic blunder of... The, the classic blunder of having too much stuff that you can't even scrap at all. <sighs> I tell you, this... There's not enough room... In, like, in this type of game, there's not enough uh, room to store stuff. Ah. And we'll just scrap that overalls. Let's just get through this door really quick. That is the most irritating thing. Uh, we got more leather boots. Uh, don't mind the queue. It's just being itself. Huh. Puffer coat. We'll definitely save that. Ah. Let's just break through here. Create the bathroom and then we'll raid the bookshelves, see if there's at least something in there. Nothing in the sink, we got cupboards. Um we got painkillers, a beaker. I'll come back for this stuff. I got I'll have to run some up to the old uh to the old mini bike storage. Got more murky water. But let's see the the bookcases here. We got the itsy bitsy spider. Would be nice if we were in hub. Um, we'll just grab that and read it real quick. It's even if I don't get it on time, it's still a free skill point at the at the end of the day. Ah, we got leather. Oh, we can glow schematic. And then we got rocket launcher schematic. And there we go. We got paper and all that. And we'll just check out the garage storage. I think aside from these lockers back here, there's not going to be too much in... Oh, that's a nice, uh, that's a nice tank top. That actually the same kind I have? Ah, yeah. You know what, I might actually save that for... for combining. One of those, it's like, uh, I've tried merging ban bandanas together before. Oh. Let's just see what the stats are like on this, just to have a little look-see. Because that's a, not a bad shirt. Although I do like have a cooling. Player duster. Um. That's actually not bad, I'll take it. Yeah, I'll take it. Unless this is just as good. Uh, not as bad, but... I'll actually keep the good one for... I keep it for, um, whatever you call it. Keep it for, you keep it for a cooling, for a cooling, uh, you know, whenever I need to cool myself off, but one of those things, people, uh, in this version, you need to kind of realize, like, well, I, well, I needed to realize was quality of your clothes is actually important because you can, depending on what you get, you get a, it's like, you know, Higher level stuff actually provides you with more protection. So it's kind of like you can have really good armor, and yeah, it'll do a ton for you. But it'll... But don't... But it's like... you Basically what I'm trying to say is, with your clothing, you want to get as much protection out of it as possible. But I'm going to go back in here and grab the stuff. Like, we'll grab the puffer coat at least. And I'm going to go break into the new... Uh, to the other bunker. So, see you in a little bit, YouTube. Alrighty, YouTube, I've already broken into this safe as well, you know, in this bunker. Let's see what's in this one. Hunting rifle and barrel and stock with a, with a magnum cylinder. 
I did actually start raiding the kitchen. I did find a potato and there was a meat stew that I found. Uh, that's why I got like a couple more wellness points like within that. Was a little bit hungry. No biggie. But saving that potato for uh, a farm. Ah, and uh, we're just raiding all these lockers here. It's kind of more of the same old, same old. I will say the well bunker is a little bit better. And uh, it's it's because of the number of safes and all that. Don't need skull cap. This can all just get scrapped. And then we take a look at old Charlie. Nothing, unfortunately, for me. Cloth armor and all that. Another tank top, that's not too bad, but we'll just uh, scrap it all down. Leather and cloth, it'll, it'll do me well, so. Bookcases. Another point in weapon smithing from the Solitaire Schematic. Magnum Enforcer Magazine. Well, it says Enforcer Magazine, but uh, um, I call it Magnum Enforcer. <laughs> for whatever <laughs> I think it's because it used to be an earlier alpha was called uh, like Magnum Enforcer or or I could just be making up stuff but to me I always kind of like the name of that yo Magnum Enforcer a couple turds we'll just have to pop in here really quick and check this Charlie boy out alright Charlie what you got for me nothing unfortunately and not much in these cupboards. Ah, yeah, really not not much to do. Oh uh, yeah, cupboards done. So the one thing I uh, the one thing we really got to do here is go over and uh, raid the birth theater. So I've got to go break into the safe really quick. And uh, you know what? I was going to cut it. I was, but it's not too hard to break into the safes. They're really not. Like, the store is unlocked, and it's fuzz. Something like this, I don't really feel pressured to. It's just kind of like the, the tools make it easy. Ha! Ah. Wall safe. Um, don't mind the zombies being noisy. Got hunting rifle stock and no, shotgun stock and hunting rifle receiver. Mikey, good to see you. How we doing? Come here. Be all resilient today. Ah, there we go. Just to uh, wanted to hand me his hoodie, but eh, didn't need it. We'll just uh, take a look in the old filing cabinet. And how we got the old gun safe. Knock, knock. I'm coming right through. You can't even stop me. Ah, yeah, we're just breaking through here, and you know it's like, <laughs> all right, our shotgun stock. We got a hunting rifle stock and pistol grip. Yeah, you can see it's like kind of like the brother of theater here turns into like a smash and grab, like uh, as if some stuff wasn't already a smash and grab, but you know it just kind of turns it easy. <laughs> Once you get into the late game, which is nice. Um, raid these beverage coolers really quick. Glass pan can go. Yeah. What you got for me? Beer, water, and glass jars. Excellent. But yeah, I think yeah, you know, this is a good amount of looting for this town for. For one day, it's like, uh, you already got a great amount of stuff banked into. And, yeah. So, I'm going to head back to head back to town, and, uh, well, I'll let you know once I'm there. Well, YouTube, we're, we're back in town. We'll come back, I'm just getting back to town. And on my way over... After I left the northern town, I realized that, uh, well, today's a dog day. I completely forgot about it. That being the, uh, the second, uh, well, we got two days till the horde, so, uh, thank goodness I got my mini bike ramp set up here.
Love that thing. Um, uh, means gonna have to keep an eye out for for some dogs. Never know where they might come from. But hey, at least I have a I have a decent vantage point. I don't know, might not, might not bother me too much, but I did uh, pack up as much uh, junk in, in my uh, backpack and mini bike as possible. It was most of the uh, partially assembled guns and everything like that, and uh, well, let's just say I'm going to have a lot of, a uh, lot of, uh, a lot of combined to do overnight. For the next couple days, because I plan on um, not doing. Sorry, having a brain fart here. Because uh, I plan on at least trying to upgrade the uh, the mini bike ramp a little bit to keep up with the, just so it's not a brittle little uh, thing. But I figured. Uh, do at least a little bit of combine now. I apparently never took the rounds out of that sniper rifle. But with my, what I was gonna say is I want to take apart my good, my good, my good sniper and uh, combine it all. Can always uh, use more room for improvement. And... What? Those are chainsaw parts. Okay. I was looking at that. And I'm like, I'm like. Those chainsaw parts or auger parts, because can never tell. Um, don't mind me while I pull the sniper rifle apart really quick. Uh, of course, take the ammunition out. And let's see what we got for quality increase. We got a level 423 and then a, a level 430 receiver. We got... 237 and a level 245 sniper rifle stock that those uh those put that stocks the weakest link here let's see the barrel though a level 596 that's really nice to see so the barrel is basically max level big 600 in the game so that's really cool to see but yeah, I got some, uh, I got some, I got some you know, resource collecting to do, uh, and also offloading of the mini bike to do. So I will let you know uh, once it's getting near uh, near nighttime. Well, YouTube, it's coming up on nighttime here in a little bit, and well, we got a floating, we got a floating backpack. Another little uh, anomaly of. Uh, of seven days, I tell you. Ah, seven days never change. Oh, you only had a can for me. How lovely. Yeah, you get chopped. Yeah, I've just been collecting wood. Uh, got over a stack of 6,000, so... Making our way through... Uh, I haven't encountered any dogs yet. I don't know where they may be, but it's like... Or the game maybe decided to give me a break. I honestly don't know. And, well, if the game wants to give me a break on on making, uh, on the dogs, then I'm more than welcome to it. Means less trouble for me. So, I'm gonna uh, end this episode here, so like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed the episode made this far, and I hope you have a great day. Take care.